Hello everyone, this short video is going to show you how to calculate instantaneous angular acceleration and velocity for objects moving in non-uniform circular motion. Uh, this specific problem is going to go over this example in which the central angle theta as a function of time is 2t squared minus 5t and um, they ask us to determine what's the angular velocity at 5 seconds and what's the angular acceleration at 5 seconds. In order to do this, we have to remember that angular velocity is going to be the first derivative of the, of the central angle with respect to time. So we are going to take the derivative of 2t squared minus 5t, which is going to be 4t minus 5, and then if you want it at exactly 5 seconds, we are going to plug in 5 seconds for t. So um, omega at 5 seconds is going to be 4 times 5 seconds minus 5, which gives me 20 uh, minus 5, which gives me 15 radians per second. And that's going to be the angular speed, actually, at um, 5 seconds. In order to get the angular velocity, you would need to remember that that's a vector, and the direction of that will be given by the right-hand rule, like I showed you in my PowerPoint, uh, in my lectures, uh, PowerPoint slides. To determine the angular acceleration, if you remember, angular acceleration from the lecture again is the second derivative of the central angle function or the first derivative of the angular velocity function. So since we have the angular velocity function already, we are going to take the derivative of that with respect to time, and that's going to be for the derivative of 40 minus 5 is just giving us 4, which means this is going to be the final answer for any kind of uh, angular acceleration, whether it's at 5 seconds or 10 seconds, it seems that it's a constant. And this uh, concludes my example of how to calculate instantaneous angular acceleration and velocity. I strongly suggest you try it with different other types of functions, uh, not just polynomials, maybe some trig functions, and then do more examples like this to be better prepared for the multiple choice part of the exam that's coming after spring break. Thank you.